Or process not, I don't know. I don't know shit. Hey, like How are you, Kristen? Good. Uh, Thank you, by the way, for lending me your stick. I uh, still have the curse where all of my sticks break, so. I mean, you're still playing with, like, old gen sticks, but in theory, they, you, should, you should probably get it fixed. Yeah, you know. The, you know. You buy a brook converter, and, like, that's what I have in this stick. Yeah, I got some brooks boards lying at home. I just got to take the time to actually do it. Okay. Anyway, uh, so I don't really know Blazing Bear. Do you know anything about him? No. Uh, Is he also Seattle? I don't have no idea. <laughs> I don't think so, but, you know. If so, team kill. <laughs> okay. Of course, Ruka is, you know, very prominent in Seattle. He plays Chip. Yeah, I, I only play in a tournament. He's always busy doing other stuff in a tournament, or I'm too scared to have to tell me. He's a chill dude. Zato. Nice. All right, we got Zato. Apparently, Portland, Oregon occasionally has Zato players, but they always seem to disappear. Uh, uh, I don't I mean, know what's up with that. Yeah. There was that one guy who showed up one day and uh, he never came back. But, you know, let's see this. I'm going to curse how this goes. Oh, we one got a check, button check. The best matchup experience. <laughs> oh, we got the. Oh, okay. Okay, we got the pad default. I was about to say, we got the Isaiah buttons, but not quite, not quite. Japan. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I've only I've only seen this matchup between like Ozawa and Sanito. Like, 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 no, but it's like it seems like Ozawa gets to like super save, and, like, minimize all the damage. Like, yeah, he's got a lot to deal with. I think he's gonna. I think. This match for Zato is about running away until he gets his opportunity. Of course, that's a lot of matches for Zato. <laughs> okay. But this one especially, Chip has got way the offensive advantage, the button advantage. Yeah. Yup. All right. But this is not what we're seeing from Blazing Bear. He's running right in and uh, taking the hits for it. Ooh, unsummons uh, Eddie, I think. Yeah, maybe it got hit, but. Slash kill Eddie. He's doing a decent amount of, like, trying to shadow gallery out of things. I don't know. It's, a, it's an interesting matchup so far. So, we have both players kind of spacing each other out. We haven't seen any really big confirms or any uh, long series of offense yet, but... Air throw down by Ruka. Nope. <laughs> Alright, this might be the round with the meter that he has, but I guess not. I guess not. Wow! I just don't know when this match is going <laughs> to resolve. Ooh. I honestly thought that was a good bait for the dead angle, but then his attack went right through him. Chip the DP's out. Oh. Chris Noon is getting called away, going back to solo commentary. Uh, so we have, again, this kind of tentative, not very uh, aggressive game being played by both players. Every confirm that I see Zato making is to get Chip back out. And uh, Luka is seemingly not getting, uh, getting his combos. I don't know what's going on. But now we got something. He's in the blender. Probably going to take one more mix-up to die. Ruka goes for the super, but gets hit out of it with a jab. Wow. All right, throwing that 6-H, trying to space him out. But Ruka is on top of it, gets the punish, gets the full confirm. And that's round one for Ruka. Welcome back, Rain. Hey, how you doing? Just, I'm here to help out. This is just musical chairs today. <laughs> well, your players uh, pulling double duty. They yeah, you know. And they got to play. So, speaking of playing currently, Blazer Bear, Ruka, who just won? Uh, Ruka just won. Ruka just won the first yeah, round. Got a chip and a Zato. Yup. Very interesting. I don't, I don't know Blazer Bear very well, but I think he's from the Oregon area. He just doesn't come out to locals very much. You come out more. Oh. Need more Zatos, firstly, oh, yeah, yeah. and players in general. For sure. And then maybe he'll pick up plus R. I mean, <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see what he picks up in this match. Just kidding, just quick. kidding. Six to start of the round. All right, all right. I see that that's the first shadow gallery that's really worked out for him. He's been throwing it out a lot. 
but two right in a row, keeping Chip off of him a little bit. You can see that Ruka wants to play a little more out now. So Ruka's using Chip's incredible mobility to get around Shadow Belly, get around up to the Nova Root, get around Bloodsaw. Good first. You know, Chip gets around. I'll say that much. <laughs> Chip certainly gets around. All right, we're starting to see some Zotto offense. Yeah, all right. So Nothing like he's very uh, oppressive. He's a little heavy lockdown pressure, but again, we're just, just using Chip's unbelievable ability to move around a lot. Yeah, really good drop there, and that was a quick win. Yeah, I feel like Blazenberry is not comfortable with the spacing he needs to do in this matchup. It's making him panic a lot. I want to point out Chip's health that there is about one four. Blazenberry hit about three hits. Oh, Chip yeah, has yeah. roughly four hits of health. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. He's got to balance him somehow, right? Yeah. <laughs> the, one of the, the better characters in the game is his, his balance by his perfect low health pool. Oh my goodness, alright, so. Ruka's laying down a very solid sort of. Uh, I learned this game, learned this term like a couple days ago. Tataki? Uh, I don't know. But mix ups that are leaving him very safe. The game play, that, that, that pressure just never ended. I, we would have talked about the match, but there wasn't much to say. Yeah, this I know. is Ruka applying pressure and getting every single hit he wanted. And that's that. Uh, 